Hi. Uh, Andy, welcome to the Long Island International Film Expo. Um, I understand that you're the cinematographer for Real Mommy Confessions. Yep. How did you get involved with that project? Well, I was brought in by Bianca Jamat and uh, Jennifer N. Scott. Um, Bianca was, is the creator of Real Mommy Confessions, and she kind of had the idea in her head how she wanted to do it. And um, actually, I was uh, sitting in a meeting with them, not really involved too much and they was like hey how about you how about you shoot it and, um, and I work with uh, Bianca it was in a short film that I shot a couple of years before that so it just seemed to make sense so that's how we got involved and we've been working together for the past year and a half on the whole series. Oh so it's a series. Yeah the, okay. yeah, we showed three episodes of a web series that has 39 episodes in it total right now so that was season one and season two of Real Miami Confessions. Uh, we're in contract right now to do a third series with Acumen TV. So we can change it around a little bit, but for the most part, it, it'll, it'll be the same kind of feel. So tell me a little bit about Real Mommy Confessions. Real can, oh, well, there's more of Bianca's area, but That's okay. the best I can do. <laughs> you can give me, you know. It's really, it's, it's, it's real stories about real moms. So we, um, real moms from around the world, literally, have sent us little stories, little funny things that happen to them. Uh -huh. We take those stories and we turn them into scripts and then we basically tell, make a short film about it. So we showed three tonight. One of the, one of the first one we showed was mom was shopping. She's, she used to be kind of self-conscious about the personal items she would buy at the store and feel kind of judged by the checkout guy. So that was a story that, that, that she received. And we just turned it into a film and tried to make it funny and add some visual effects to, you know. Right. So tell me a little bit about the visual effects because I know that's your area of specialty, that's, right? You're you're one one of your areas. I'm more of a cinematographer. Visual effects is kind of uh, second, but I've been just doing a whole lot of it. Uh -huh. And really, what it started out as, you know, fixing things, and then I thought, well, wait a minute, I can do this, I can do that. Then it just kind of kind of right, it snowballed into doing a whole bunch of stuff. We actually did a one of our episodes had a bullet time effect in it which I wasn't sure how to do. I just wanted to try it. So I said, well, we can fit it in this episode. And it was, it was, it was there for absolutely no reason. I heard one good laugh in the audience when we showed that. And no, but it was amazing to do, right? <laughs> right, it's, like, it's so out of place, but we had, I had to do it. So. Now you can do a Matrix movie. I'm kidding. <laughs> but, um, so what was the biggest challenge you faced in the making of this project? The whole series? I mean, in the general, so, right. I mean, uh, or from among the three that showed today. You know, whatever you want to... You know, the, when you're a project this big, there, I can't really point to one thing that's the biggest challenge. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> something that might be a big challenge on what, at one point won't be an issue, and there's something else to take its place. It could be... It could be um, lack of uh, coordination on someone's part, or, or we, you know, just didn't have the right actor for a certain part, or I didn't light it the way I wanted to, or I complain. You know, I'm notorious for complaining. It's like I don't have enough time to light this. But um, you know, so it, it could always be. It's it, a number of things. So okay. a project that this that this big. Um, the, the challenges, yeah. You know, so one doesn't pop to your pop into your head. No, that's okay. Not, not really. I can't like think Great. of one one thing. You know. Okay. No worries. There's a list of things that go wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it turned out well. And anyway, thank it you. did. I mean, I think it's a really good series, and apparently, Acumen TV thinks it's a good series too. So. Yeah. They, Congratulations they like on that. Thank you. And um, so, if people want to find you, tell me, tell them how they can. Find um, I don't know the answer. Where do they find us? If they want to find us. Facebook Real Mommy Confessions. Yeah. Facebook and Real, Real Mommy Confessions on Facebook. That's where you can find us. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care.